My reign as a Jeopardy champion lasted almost 35 minutes. This was coming, like the waiting room of the of the vasectomist, and I know that's not what he's called. I know there's like a fancy word, but if you leave, I have nothing left to live for. So this happened in the early 80s. I'm in a parking lot full of people. I'm at the very back of it. It's after a Grateful Dead show. I was eating mushrooms. And I'm looking at my friend Edward. And he's loading our stuff out of a van over into a car because we're switching cars, going to different parties. And there's all this stuff that he had all planned out. And I was just along for the ride or the trip, whatever. So. I'm sitting there and he's getting out of the van and he looks at me and he lifts up my overnight bag, which is like a Winn-Dixie grocery bag, you know, those paper brown things. And he's like, is this everything you got? And I look at it and my mushroom mind's like, yes, that's everything I've got, you know? And so I'm like, Edward, that has everything in it. Be careful with that bag. And just to be an asshole, he's just like, oh, so it'd be terrible if this happened and he faked throwing it in the woods out of the back of the parking lot. So, but he stops, you know, he goes, but of course the bag breaks and all my stuff goes flying in the air. And I look over and I can see my stuff, you know, in the parking lot lights, it's like a t-shirt and you know, my toothbrush with some aluminum foil wrapped around it for hygiene purposes. And you know, some cassette tapes and a pair of socks. Oh, and if you're ever in a situation where you don't know whether you're gonna get a shower, a clean pair of socks, will pull you through. So that's just my gift to you. That's your take home for me. So I see it all in the light. And then it goes beyond the parking lot into the woods and just into darkness and it just disappears. Oh, yeah. And, and Edward feels terrible. And so he just goes into organizer mode and he's like, okay, people, here's what's going to happen. You see that guy over there that looks really bummed? Well, all of his stuff just flew over into the woods, right over in this area. And what we're all gonna do with love in our hearts is we're gonna go in the woods and we're gonna bring him back his stuff. So let's go. And all these people, are, they're tripping like crazy too and they're just going, okay. You know, and they just start heading over, you know. And Edward takes me over to the back of the, the van, you know, opens the door, a VW van at a Grateful Dead concert, and I know. And I'm sitting on the back, and I'm sitting there, and I'm looking out in the woods at these people, and I have one of my greatest moments. And I'm looking, and, and I don't know what it was. Well, it was the drugs, that's what it was. But anyway, I, was, I had this moment where I was like, a combination of like a king and the pope, you know, and, and these were my people. And they were, they were bringing me offerings, you know? And I'm sitting there and like the first person comes up to me and she goes, is this your tape of The Clash? And I go, yes, yes it is. And thank you. You know, and the next person comes up and she goes, is this your stick? And I'm like, no, uh, but thank you. You know, and the next guy's like, is this your shiny rock? No. Can I keep it? I'm like, yes, you can keep the shiny rock. And thank you. And this went on for a, a pretty long time. I got back about half my stuff and it was great. Thank you.